what's happening guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a battery life test with the Helion 10 using 8,000 milliamp hour lithium ion batteries. Um, lithium ion batteries are a little bit less punchy than LiPo batteries, but you should theoretically be able to get like a bunch more range and a bunch more battery life. We're in Goblin Valley, which is this state park in Utah that's really beautiful, has all these really cool little rock features. So I'm just gonna kinda head out and explore the surrounding areas check everything out and see what kind of battery you can safely expect flying the Helion with these 8,000 milliamp hour batteries. <laughs> oh, fuck, I didn't even realize. <laughs> when did you go there? <laughs> also in this video, I'm flying my friend Parker's drone because mine was messing up and I uh, broke one of the antennas. If he crashes it, he has to buy me two more. <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go just fly around these little features here. I think they're called hoodoos. And like I said, this is more of a five inch spot. Already flew that smaller drone a bunch of times around here. But with the Helion, I am just gonna explore some of these kind of further away features. Rip up these little ridge lines and kind of come around. I still think out of anywhere I've been on Earth, like Utah has the coolest landscapes. All right, so home point is in view. Damn, that's cool. And what's cool about this state park is they allow drone flying, you just have to pay like a $15 fee to get a drone permit. A lot of places just don't allow drones at all, but this one does, which is really cool. All right, so now, wow, this place is insane. I'm just gonna rip this little ridge line and come down here. I'm actually gonna get a lot higher just so I can see all these features. Wow, I've actually never even walked over there. That is insane. Definitely gonna have to hike over to that area. Um, unfortunately, I can't fly over there just because it's outside of line of sight. But I can stay down here, just make sure the buildings where I am are in view and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna flip around, make sure we're in view. And then now I'm gonna rip this whole ridge line, kind of like the reverse version of it. Favorite parts of FEV is just like getting a bird's eye view of any place you are. You can scope out all the cool spots you want to hike to. Rip around this rock, boom. Wow, that's insane. So again, we know all this is in line of sight. And a little trip trick about FPV if you can look right now, we're facing like, the sun's directly behind us, the shot does not look very nice. But if you go at kind of a 45 degree angle to everything, it just looks so much better. So it's a good thing to just keep in mind when you're flying. This is not the drone for riffing around tight corners, but it's too fun not to do. Voltage is still looking good. So I'm gonna blast up super high and just see if there's any more features that I would like to fly. 
Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you enjoyed the first part of that video. I just wanna take a quick second to kind of reflect on 2024 and also talk about the things that I'm super stoked about going into 2025. 2024 was a massive year for me. This channel here grew over 160,000 subscribers, which is completely insane to me. I was also able to travel to so many amazing places like Central America, the Caribbean, Hawaii, and a bunch of the US Southwest. My friend Jonah and I also released our film Southbound, which is basically the first episode in a series where we're riding off-road motorcycles from LA to the southern tip of South America, and we hosted a premiere in New York City in March. The past few years, honestly, I've been getting super busy with work and kind of forgot about those passion projects, so releasing that film was just such a special moment for me. But before I get to what I'm super stoked about in 2025, I just want to acknowledge that none of this would be possible without sponsors like Artlist, who's also sponsoring this video here. If you're someone who makes videos, you need to check out Artlist. If you haven't heard me talk about them before, it's basically an all-in-one place where you can get assets to make your videos better. I'm talking music, sound effects, stock footage, templates, plugins, and even an AI voiceover feature. I use that feature all the time in client videos because it's so much cheaper and easier than actually hiring a real person to do it. They have an AI powered search bar, so whatever you're looking for, it's really easy to find. Every single song we used in the first episode of Southbound is from Artlist, as well as a bunch of the sound effects. I also use their stock footage and videos on this channel all the time when I don't have specific clips that I need. Artlist's entire goal is to just make creating good content easier. And what makes Artlist different is they offer a universal license that works for ads, social media, personal videos, whatever you need. I never work with sponsors that I don't personally use and recommend, and Artlist is a company that I've been using well before they were a sponsor of this channel. So I wanna give a very special thank you to Artlist for just helping me chase after the things that I love. Okay, speaking of that, this is what I'm looking forward to in 2025. So this year, actually tomorrow, I'm headed off on the third leg of our motorcycle trip. If you can't tell, my office is extremely dirty just because I'm packing and getting everything ready. Our bikes are in Panama right now and we're having someone ship them around the Darien Gap to Colombia, where we're gonna be going through Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, which I am so freaking stoked for. We're gonna be filming the third episode of Southbound while we're doing that. We already shot the second episode. We're just working on editing that right now. And it's really my biggest passion project that I'm just so stoked to be working on. On top of that, I'm gonna be working on making more videos for this channel and maybe this year we'll hit half a million. I don't know, it's a long shot, but maybe. So those are my two biggest goals and I'd love to hear from you guys what your biggest goals in 2025 are gonna be. And then in January of next year, we can come back to this video and see how everyone did. I can't say thank you to you guys enough for always constantly supporting me and just allowing me to do the things that I love. Thank you to Artlist as well. And if you haven't checked them out, there's a link down in the description below. If you make videos, definitely check out Artlist. If you use the link below, you'll get two months for free. All right, let's get back to the video. And maybe a cool shot would also be just going really high, diving down, and then kind of going into the all the little hoodoos. Should it come like way over here? Still got 40 megabytes of service, looking good. All right, so I'm gonna give it a shot going down here. Just ripping through this little valley. Get a little low signal. pretty high but this time I'm going to rip along the side of this instead of the top
Another good thing to do before you do FPV flights to make sure you're in uh, line of sight. Just look out for different features. And like that spiky rock that I just flew by, I knew that I could see it just before I took off. So I know that I'm good there. Oh, this spot's sick. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little speed run of all these little, little stacks. So I'm gonna first dive here. And then kind of get low to the ground. Look for some little channels where I can fly through. All right, so I got a bunch of batteries still, actually. So I'm actually gonna do a little look outside my goggles. Um, I would love to fly over there, but I think that's actually slightly too far. But what I can see is over there. So I'm gonna head over there. And again, the reason I'm able to fly this long is because I have the Helion 10 um, plus the lithium ion batteries. Like you can get flights that are like almost 20 minutes with this thing. And the range you can get is just completely absurd. So we'll see. I know I can see with my eyes the top of that ridge over there. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how the connection holds up. Maybe a little bit too far. Okay, I just got a yellow bar, which is a little weird. But I think I should be able to make it over here. We're just approaching 10 minutes of flight time. Connection things, which is not super dope. But I'm pretty stoked. I was able to make it over here. I'm gonna dive down a little bit and then just rip back. I'm gonna speed this area up just because it kinda sucks balls. <laughs> so I'll see you when I get back to like more interesting stuff. All right, so we're still going. Still zooming. Back to the cool, interesting features.
and so we're just about 12 minutes flight time. Still voltage is looking really solid. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly back through this little area. Get that nice 45 degree angle right here. And I think I'll start here. Yeah, go past that rock. And then hit this little gooch right here. Back down, around. If you are seeing my OSD and you're wondering why it says land now, it's because I'm using lithium ion batteries and they are low at a higher voltage than uh, LiPos. Cool, so we're down in the 18 volts, which is usually when I'll start thinking about coming back. Oh, you thought I was gonna land? Going back to the bridge line. All right, so we're at 13. 13 minutes, still chilling. All right, so we're coming in on 15 minutes. I could probably push it a little bit more, but I am not gonna do that. And I'm gonna come back and land, but that is freaking awesome. 15 minutes. Nice! All right guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Definitely hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And link to my LUT pack is down in the description. All right, see you on the next one. Peace.